Mr. Mike Walsh, CEO, Tomorrow Consultancy, author, Harvard Business Review, columnist, and futurist. Welcome to MBRF Podcast. I'm so happy to have you with me here in the studio. I'm even more happy. I'm thrilled to be here. I'll go to the main question that I think concerns everyone when it comes to being AI, futurist, and all the AI thing right now. How can AI transfer the future of workplace, youth in the marketplace, and job opportunity? Uh, AI is really the topic right now, and it's very easy to forget that this is something that's been going on for at least 50 years now. Wow. And for a lot of people, their first experience of AI was ChatGPT. Yes. Uh, or these new, um, uh, I guess, chatbot tools that are, that are available in the market. And they forget that behind the scenes, especially since the pandemic, we've seen more and more automation in big organizations, uh, more and more digital transformation, yes. more machine learning, deep learning. There's really no aspect of life today, whether it's retail or logistics, manufacturing or entertainment, that isn't in some way transformed by artificial intelligence, algorithms or automation. So the big question is then, is that gonna be better or worse for us as humans? And uh, leaving aside the people who think that we're going to wake up one day and the robots have taken over like a science fiction movie, there are a lot of legitimate concerns that okay. actually, in some ways, work as we know it is going to go away for most people. But the truth is, is that I at least believe that jobs don't go away. Jobs change. And in the same way that uh, computers didn't take work away from people, people with computers took work away from people who True. refused to use them. I think that the future of work is going to be people who've equipped themselves with the, the ability to understand how to use AI to transform themselves to be more effective, more productive, more imaginative, more creative. Those are going to be the winners in the new job marketplace of the future. Nice. Nice. I like how you said it. And maybe if we're we're targeting youth right now, what you said is something very interesting in how can we use AI in terms of what as as a youth to choose the direction of when it comes to job opportunity, how can they know which direction to go? I'm not worried about kids. Kids are yeah. smart. Um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm worried about <laughs> us maybe. I think I think we should be worried for ourselves. Yes. And and the thing is people often uh, describe kids as lazy. They're not lazy, they're smart. Yeah. Kids don't want to do things the way they've always been done because they know there's a smarter way of doing it. They they can use technology, they can use artificial intelligence, they True. can use automation. Um, kids will always find the laziest, easiest way to complete a task and we should not punish them for that. In fact, we That's should actually right. encourage them to actually do work the smarter way. Okay, and coming back to here being at the Knowledge Summit, uh, what do you think of Knowledge Cities? Well. I think Knowledge Cities is both a very new and a very old concept. Um, it's an old concept in the sense that a great city has always been a creative incubator, like a catalyst for bringing people together. People put up to, put up with all sorts of issues like traffic and overcrowding and pollution. Why? Because they've got a better chance of meeting or running into or collaborating with a person yeah. that allow them to do something extraordinary. Okay. So that's not a new concept. Um, but what is new, I think, is the difference between you know yeah. a smart city and a knowledge city. You know, smart cities were really something that came out of uh, the early rise of the Internet of Things and sensors and, and, and AI. But in many cases, these were just exercises in mass data surveillance. Okay. I mean, we had smart traffic lights, but that doesn't mean we had smarter people. Knowledge cities are really attempted, I think, saying, well, what is the use of this technology if we also don't have humanity as well? 100%. How do we bring people together in a way that actually allows them to be more creative, more productive, and, and really transform the output of that city to not just being data, but data transformed with insight? Makes so much sense. And I like how you said it, it's both ways, because we have a lot of fear and know it's going to take away like how you mentioned. We're going to wake up one day and robots are going to be everywhere and no human interaction is needed or no humans are out. And it's, as you said, it's not true. What is our role as human from the community towards uh, the knowledge, the information, the AI? What's our role coming from uh, an expert uh, in this field? and? Believing in, in both ways is important. What is our role as people from the community towards all these changes? I, I think we have to be open to uh, uncertainty and ambiguity. To, um, yes. We have to be curious rather than judgmental. And, and I have to remember that there's two essential skills going into the future. One is a deep understanding of human complexity because that doesn't go away. How do you motivate people? What is a great customer experience? How do you empathize with, 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 with somebody else in the community? But that's not enough. We also need an understanding of these new technologies, how they augment and transform us, yeah. how we can use them to be more than, than we are. 
uh, Mr. Michael, I know you have, uh, Mr. Mike, I know you have a talk happening soon. I don't want to take more of your time. You did point a lot of amazing stuff. I was one of the people, I'll, be, I'll admit to thinking, you know, maybe one day we'll wake up and, you know, robots will be uh, everywhere. So I like how you combine the human and uh, the AI and how we need to work together. Uh, I wish you all the best with today's session and I'll be definitely joining. Thank you. It's wonderful to be on the show. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day. Thank you.